गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम टू माय चैनल लर्न बायोलॉजी विद डॉक्टर पूल एंड एज वी ऑल नो दैट आई एम डीलिंग विद द ह्यूमन डिजीजेस एंड दिस इज माय फिफ्थ लेक्चर इन द सीरीज एंड टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द कैंसर कैंसर इज अ ऑलमोस्ट फैटल डिजीज वेरी सीरियस एंड इट इज फाउंड ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड affecting all the million of people per year by definition it is known as it is undifferentiated uncontrolled division of human cells and which ultimately lead to the formation of uh, special type of tumors and these tumors are again of two types as i must say that every tumor is not a cancer so don't afraid it uh, and the first tumor is known as benign tumors and these tumors are the group of cells which are now transformed into cancer or new plastic cells and these tumors are not fatal they are bound by a epithelial membrane and in this type of tumor the cancer cells affect only the neighboring tissues of the body so they are, they are less dangerous than the other type of tumor which are known as malignant tumors now there are two ways of spreading these type of tumors the most important way and this topic is again very important this term is very important known as metastasis the students and all my uh, dear friends who is who are my subscribers they should understand this term metastasis this is the spread of cancer cells in blood capillaries and as you know that all the blood capillaries are spread in our entire body from head to toes so the cancer cells move from the place of origin to the entire body so it form and it affects all the body parts and this process is known as metastasis metastasis is a condition which is very dangerous and it is not easy to control all the body parts which are having cancer due to metastasis so it becomes fatal and ultimately the patient die away the next as you are uh, seeing my notes which i have written on the board and the other uh, type of spread of cancer which is known as invasion in this the cells of cancer invades the nearby tissues and now type of cancers which are very common the first one is known as carcinomas it is it includes about 80% 80% of cancer types and it includes lung cancer breast cancer colon cancer skin cancer etc the second type is sarcoma it is the cancer of connecting tissues and muscles and examples are bone cancer and cartilage cancer about 2 to 3% are affected by this the third type is leukemia again a very dangerous cancer in which as we all know there the our blood structure contains white blood capsules red blood capsules leukocytes and platelets this is a cancer which affects our wbcs and patient suffer from this cancer finally leads to the death he has or he or she has to change the blood at certain intervals if he is affected by this dangerous type of cancer it is also known as granulos granulocytic type of leukemia and the fourth one is myeloma it is the cancer of bones
students so far we have discussed about the definition about the types of tumors uh, in this lecture now we come to the causes of cancer the cancer are caused by physical chemical and biological agents which are also known as carcinogens and the first one is physical carcinogens we can easily understand about the radiations and you have also studied these terms in subject of chemistry also and these radiations are x rays gamma rays ultraviolet rays and we all know that the sunlight which come on the earth is uh, presented by vip your term and uh, around the earth we have a ozone layer so the harming rays like ultraviolet rays and infrared rays do not come on the earth but sometimes uh, these uh, ultraviolet rays are used in some experiments and sometimes uh, when the eclipse like lunar eclipse and sun eclipse takes place the earth and the moon and the sun they come in a line and at this time uh, the these dangerous rays fall on the earth and affect the human body so these they may cause cancers and because uh, as we go in the cells of human body there is a nucleus in the center and in human being we all know that 46 or 23 pairs of chromosomes are present in our nucleus and when there is a chromosomal aberration that is disturbance in the structure of chromosome it may be a deletion in it may be a inversion and which is caused which show the disturbance in dna or dna damage takes place which ultimately lead to the cancer by these radiations very important point to be noted the second type is chemical carcinogens we all know these chemicals are nicotine caffeine by tea and coffee unsaturated hydrocarbons automobile exhaust point to be noted here uh, pollution and polyphenyl carbohydrate they cause liver cancer and liver as all we know it is a very important part of our human body the second reason is the maximum re maximum uh, deaths caused in the world by tobacco smoking by tobacco chewing and they are the major cause of lung cancer now the third one is biological cancer here the biological carcinogens are the oncogenic viruses which causes different type of diseases in human beings and when this disease is very serious then there is a high percentage of causing cancer in the infected person and the examples are if the dna present in the genome of viruses they are known as deoxyribonucleic acid viruses and the examples are papovirus herpes virus hepatitis b virus they have special type of genes oncogenes in their genome and when a people when a person gets infected by this type of virus they there are high percentage to happen to be caused of cancer in the body of that infected person who is suffering from herpes virus or hepatitis b virus or papovirus and like rna viruses means in their genome single stranded ribonucleic acid genome is present and retroviruses are also included in biological carcinogens now we come to the term carcinogenesis it is a process by which a normal cell of human body 
is transformed into a cancerous cell or also known as neoplastic cell you must know the second term and cancer is a uh, uh, no is known as in hindi karkat rog and is it is when we study the term disease so we classify the disease in two terms that is non infection dis non infectious disease and infectious disease and the cancer is non infectious disease it is not caused by any type of pathogen that is virus bacteria or any other pathogen here i am showing you the picture of mouth cancer and this is the these two uh, diagrams showing the severe condition of cancer the fourth stage cancer in mouth and here as in the starting of my lecture i have told you that when normal cell of human body is transformed into a mass of cell you can see easily in this diagram papovirus the uh, finally one normal cell is transforming into a mass of cells which is a tumor so you can understand from this diagram also after students in this lecture we have discussed about the definition the types of tumors the type of cancers and finally the types of uh, carcinogens which cause the cancer thanks for patient hearing and the techniques for detection of cancer and their and its treatment will be covered in my next lecture coming soon within a week and thanks for patient watching hearing and keep supporting thank you